Hello, welcome back to Conan Exiles. And I'm up in the miserable north here. I'll show you the map. So we're quite a long way from our base. We are here. Just there, which is right at the base of the ramp that takes you up to the camp of the outcast. Let's go back to the map. Camp of the outcast is here. And the outcast, of course, teaches you your mere religion. But I've discovered that a very easy way of getting to this ridge, which has got lots of black ice and meteorites on it, is to actually go past the outcast camp and follow the, the path beyond it. And that actually takes you up here quite handily. But um, yeah, good good tip. Go to the outcast camp and then keep on going because the path continues up there. You'll soon find some good spots for black ice. But anyway, I'm here with Liam and Hercules. And what we're going to do is look for the Barrow King. The Barrow King is a, a mini boss. He's someone you have to take down to complete the game. I think he lives either around here or up here. So we've really got to go and look for him. There's lots of, um, sorry about that, lots of saber tooths about. So let's get going. We had a bit of a fight on the way here. Yeah, I've already collected all my meteorites and black ice. Hercules is well loaded down with that stuff. And happily, look, there's a couple of saber tooths over there. And, ha and a goat. <laughs> and happily I discovered that you only need one explosive arrow to actually blow up one of those meteorites. Because they have to be opened up with explosives before you can mine them. But the last time I found a meteorite, it took me 15 explosive arrows to break it open. But apparently that was a bit of a glitch. You should only take one. So that's quite useful to know. So I'm not sure where this barrow is. But I know it's quite well defended. I think the mini boss himself is fairly pathetic. But he's got quite a lot back up. Is it over there somewhere? It's like a path going up there, doesn't it? Right, we're just gonna have to have a bit of an explore, I think. Let's um let's jump down here. That's one. So lots and lots of wild animals around here. There's some wolves over there. Oh no, it's an elk. Yeah. Let's just try and run past most of the trouble. Oh, bloody hell, there's a white wolf over there. Christ, look at him. Those are really dangerous. <laughs> I mean, really dangerous. Does he see me? Is, is that two white wolves? That would be horrifying. Let's run away. Let us run away. Well, those are really nasty mini bosses, the white wolves. They deliver so much bleed. Right, there's a bloody mammoth. Is that another white wolf? I, I, this is horrifying. Right. Bears. I don't care about the bears. It's the, it's the white wolves I want to avoid. I've never seen so many white wolves together. That can't be right. Right, Liam's enjoying himself. Right, I've got wolves up here. Normal ones. Damn. <laughs> I don't think the barrow's around here, is it? I'm dizzy with thirst. That's not good. Okay, well, let's get Liam back. Oh, he's coming. He chased by my bear. Um, get some water down us. Okay, what's everything attacking? The white wolf, run away. And we just really do have to run. I'm not. I'm not taking on the white wolf. Liam could do it by himself, but when he's distracted like that. I, I worry. So we're just going to run as fast as we ever can. I think we're heading the right direction. I think so. I've only seen this place from a distance once. It's past the Dirgewood, I think. Did we, did we lose the bastards? Right, Leon's probably in the middle of a fight, isn't he? If we run away hard enough, he'll teleport to us. Hopefully they won't follow him. Oh, come on, Liam. Where are you? Come on. Come back. Come back, Liam. Where the hell? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Right. Nothing's coming with him. 
that is that something on his tail? Is that something there? Your damage line. Ah, oh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, I worry about Liam, but I shouldn't really. He's so tough. All right, what's this? Just a regular wolves. Come on then, come on guys. Come on. Bit sundered. Oh, wolves. Come on behind me. He's gonna get me right, he's only sundering me. I'm not that worried about that. He's bleed I can't stand. Oh, it's Leon. Right. A little bit late, young man. A little bit late. I've got five sundered on me. Incredible. I'm soothing. Should I take some food? I'm really thirsty for some reason. I don't understand why. We've got quite a bit of water, but as I've been out here for a day already, getting black ice. So I've used up a lot of water. Oh, God! Street! Right, they're pointing in that direction. Let's go and go down there. Oh, there's a chest. A treasure chest up there. Street. Right, scrape down. I think this is it though. I think this is it. Let's go down. Scrape again. Alright, more scraping I think. That's good. Alright, let's get up there. But I think we have to go up here. That looks very promising, doesn't it? That looks horrible. <laughs> lots of whites. We can expect lots of whites to be guarding this guy. So if we can climb up. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, Jesus. Right. Iron steel. Lasting meal. Good. Grey lotus. I'm not actually sure what that does. What was that? It just vanished. How strange. So you only get limited amount of time to actually pick and choose. I should have just done loot all. Get down. Where's the fellas? Where's the fellas? Where's Leon? Oh, oh God Almighty! Right, uh, I think we might be able to ride past these guys. I'm not sure, but let's give it a go. Let's just try riding past them. Oh, wrong button. Come on. Oh, I'm stuck now. There we go. There we go. Right. Just canter through. They might ignore us if we're fast enough. I think this is the location. Let's get you off. You can stop following. Oh no, they're all coming up. Okay, well. All fingers are thumbs today. Let's um let's get you. A few of them. Oh no right, don't chop the horse. Steel and Getting a lot of damage here. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run right away. I'm gonna not run into the enemies. I'm gonna run over here. Right, they're all coming for me. There's loads of them. I thought you could run past them. But I want them on lean, really. <laughs> well, perhaps I can actually give them a run around. So lean can punish them off one by one. Probably the best, isn't it? Damn, this is quite hairy. Uh, the glitch. Oh, I'm getting corruption from them, though. Right, and they're really doing me in. <laughs> oh, dearie me. We're on the horse, though. Yeah, come on. A bit more. The fact that I'm gaining so much corruption is a little bit, come on, it's a little bit ironic. It's one of the reasons I've come here, to actually get a potion that actually removes corruption. Right, poor old horse is really taking it here, I think. Ugh. Well, well, well. So much for that. 
I thought we rode a lot further before we came to this. I didn't realise that they'd all just follow us like that. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to harvest these guys. Ooh, you had a bit of what? Come on. Yeah, I'll take all that and that. Uh, I thought I might get some witch fire. They sort of got good stuff, haven't they? I don't really want the bones and putrid meat. I thought they might have witch fire. What, what was that? Nothing I want. Uh, let's just do it. Why is not one not? Yeah, after we've been to see this, there we go, witch fire powder. Oh no, right, okay, that just went straight into my inventory, didn't it? The other thing I want to do here, showing the map, is go down to the Mounds of the Dead, because there's a recipe you can pick up in there that tells you how to get rid of corruption. Because the only other way I know of is... To, hang on, is that a... That was a repair kit, I think. Advanced tool repair kit, that's good. Might as well take the silk. Um, yeah, the only other way I know of getting rid of corruption is to stand next to an entertainer. So it'd be quite useful to have the potion. Because what I want to do is go to the ruins of... Uh, where is it? The ruins of Zulan, up here and fight another boss, but they give you a lot of corruption apparently. So that's my main purpose in coming here, to pick up that recipe so I can actually go and fight this other guy. Let's just check on Hercules' health. Come on guy, come on. Why can't I open your inventory? There we go. Oh look, he took a lot of damage. Almost half health. That was very nasty. It's getting better. I don't think anything else is going to attack him. Right, let's get in here. Oh, to get into this place, into this dungeon, you need demon blood on you. And I have got 10 demon blood. What I might do is go harmsy with you, in just in case you need it to get in there as well. So let's split that. Um, I'm pretty confident he will just follow me in anyway, but... Let us see. Get some food and water down me. Uh, swap out that water for that one. Um, well, hang on. Sorry about this. Let's get rid of you. And put you in there. That's what we wanted to do, wasn't it? Right. Let's go and have a look at this chap. Oh, this guy is the Priest King. Apparently he's one of the triumvirate. In the last episode we met the the archivist and also warmaker Clayel, who were two members of the triumvirate. But the guy in here is like the spirit of the priest king, who's the last member of the triumvirate. There we go, the barrow king. Let's get inside. Square to interact, yeah. It's quite dark. Can you you coming, Liam? You coming? He's coming. Crap. Why is it so dark? Um, hang on, let's get a torch up. Stop that, come on. He's leaving with me. Good. <laughs> I'm not doing this fight by myself. I don't care how easy this guy is. He doesn't look very easy, does he? Look. Bloody hell. Right, Leon, go and do your stuff. Well, you can't go in there, okay? Yes, you can. Come on, you can go in there. Come on, Leon. Oh, bloody hell. Um, come on, Leon. Attack. Awoken by a mortal. Yep, it's me. Your kind has always yeah, The Priest King doesn't like humans. Yeah. Right, a three skull boss. He's not very powerful though, is he? Look at him. Make it in there. Uh, I'm probably doing more damage to Lean than I am to this guy. Let's see if we can get him in the middle. I want Lean to follow me over here. Come on. See if we can get Lean over. 
Come on, let's do this in the, in the daylight or whatever this is. Right, so lee has got a lot of crit on it. Down, down, come on. <laughs> Gee, he's fast, this guy, is he? Oh, there we go. That was it. Oh, I missed what he said then. I should have been paying attention. Can I harvest him? What do I do? Shall I try to skin him? Diadem of the Giant Kings. Yeah. So I'm over encumbered. Uh, okay, fair enough. Let's give you some stuff. How much is that? Was that black ice? I should have given that to the horse. That's the diadem of the Giant Kings, and that is one of the relics you need to find to actually finish the game, apparently. Oh, look at this putrid meat. Yuck. Uh, right. Cumbrance over. Let's have a look around. Is there anything to pinch? Let's get up a different weapon to that skinning one. Yeah, I, I don't know how I would have done in that fight by myself. Probably not very good. I don't seem to be very good at fighting, sadly. No. Though weirdly, when I was thinking about it, in all my previous playthroughs, I've, n I've never travelled around with a fighting throng. I always did things by myself. I never really considered that throng. Oh, hello, look. Uh, you have learned a new feat. Vanquisher of the King Beneath. Nice. Is that it? Well, I got the diadem. I shouldn't complain. There's nothing here. Huh? Yeah, so the Priest King was, like, defeated by T Tyros, the King Slayer. Tyros um, is the Priest King's son by humans, so the Priest Kings can actually interbreed with humans. And Tyros who's now known as the Kin Scourge. He's actually the guy you fight here in the ruins of Zulan. So they're quite lore heavy characters, really. I will be doing a longish video about the lore in this game. Can we just go out? Interacting, nice. Lore's a bit complicated though. Quite involved. Is it just gloomy or is it coming on night time? It's difficult to tell, isn't it? Oh, Let's go and refill our water somewhere and then we'll get a gauge on the weather and the time of day, I think. Oh, it's so horrible up here at the moment. <laughs> Come on. I want to climb up. Come on. There we go. His health is still recovering, slowly but surely. We've got a couple of these guys, so they didn't all follow us up, did they? Just nearly all of them. Rotten bastards. They all probably try to follow us, but we don't care. Is there something to look at over there? There's a black thing. What's that? Oh, it's a tree. It's terribly interesting. Jump! Whoa! Bigger jump than I was expecting. Got more whites down here. Let's go around the corner. Find somewhere to hold up. Someone where there's not so many enemies. Oh, there's loads of whites though, look at them all. I think this is the dirge wood around here. What we can also do is look for the guy who gives you brewing recipes. I'm sure he lives around here. Let's go up here. Around the corner. Find somewhere reasonably safe, hopefully. Oh, we won't find it here, will we? Because this is a, a little mini boss lives in there. We've done that already. Oh, he's not very nice. All friends here. This has all been built up since I was last here, I'm sure. I'm sure none of this was here last time. This is crazy. <laughs> I don't remember any of this. They could have built this in the short time I wasn't here, surely. Well, it looks like they might have done. See, with the building, it all gets really sort of uh, jinky, the graphics. Frame rate goes a bit crazy. More whites. Let's go around here. Oh, 
Oh, there's a guard. Let's avoid the spikes. They're very dangerous. Through here. If we just park here. Because it's not getting any better, is it, really? Alright, you can stop following. Um, and then we'll just defend you against all these horrible people. Another one. Another one, come on. Good. What did you have? Nothing. Um, right, Hercules is okay, I think. That fella sort of stuck in there. I don't know what time of day it is. I don't know what time of day it is. I really did want to find. Let's go up here. I did really want to find the guy who gives you brewing recipes. Oh, I might finish this fell off as well. Oh, yes, it get him from behind. <laughs> well done. Well done. This one slightly tougher than the other ones. Tell us, I think he was very slightly tougher. Well, he's got some mushrooms. That'd be good. I won't take anything else. Ah, is that where the guy who has the brewing recipes lives? In which case, I might get our chum to follow us. Don't want to leave him by himself. Follow. Okay, I've ordered Lee to return, apparently. Didn't mean to do that. Why well, you follow? Come over here. Come on. And I'll fill up my water. Um, do that. Drink, drink, drink. And also fill up the empty one. Um, no, I didn't mean to do that. Why do I fill up the empty one? use I suppose do I? Yeah use there we are. Right this might be where Brewing Boy lives. I can't remember. Let's have a look. That fire does look interesting. I think this is him. I think this is Brew Boy. Yep. You've got a proper name I'm sure. Braga. There we go. What brings you to this God's cursed corner of the world, exile? Oh, he's Scottish too. Behold, the pride of Cimmeria, a clan of soft-minded fools who think they've died and gone to Crom's realm. Never mind that we walk through a desert to get here. Never mind that we can still take pleasure and pain in equal measure. Oh no, we must be in the afterlife. Because it's foggy! <laughs> I don't remember any of this dialogue. Talk again? I don't know how much help I can be to you, stranger. I can't even seem to convince my kinsmen to give up their delusion. I feel like I must stay here. The goat livered idiots in this clan are still my kin. There are whites, of course. It's an endless battle to retain my sanity. Okay, more? I came north with a companion, a Shemite who cut me from the cross. He died on the road, but before he did, he saw the beyond this land. Here, we have an ancient battlefield. The crimson lotus that blossoms in the soil is proof that blood was once spilled in grain quantities. North, there is snow and ice, and a temple all a glitter with frost and foam staff. I have spoken with a strange frost giant who told me we were living in a dream. Oh, he's nice, isn't he? In the volcano, I am in a strange cult who claimed to hear whispers from the ruins there. He tried to stop them from leaving, but I left them to their delusions. North is a black keep and a silent legion guard it. That's, that's Zooland he's talking about. Alright, more. I have also ventured into the east. Oh, you went there too. I found the old enemies. They are seer and near. No light in corn themselves that they have I passed by their village where they heard mammoths and worship the frozen god. On an island, I met a ghost who sang to me. No, I did not understand the words. 
I found a cave which led to a passage, which led to a swamp, where cruel and twisted creatures stalked the stagnant waters. And still, further east, I came to the shore of an ocean or an inland sea. Here, I spoke with pirates building a ship to set them free. These are the things I saw in the east. Well, you've seen a lot, haven't you? Get around. Let's talk some more. Our west. <laughs> there is only one big waste. What's that? It's a, a desert. A tomb built into the side oh. of a mountain. Sealed with a huge door. I tried to get inside, but there is some spell or curse which prevents it. And I do not hold with witchcraft. Not a dead man, my ears. Perhaps his spirit would have tales to tell. Okay, okay, more. I will stay here and defend my people, stranger. I hold out hope that they will eventually come to their senses, and we can make a plan to escape this empty place. But you, you have no obligation to me or my people. Find a way to bring the curse wall down. Free us all. Uh huh. Do you actually have any brewing recipes? I don't know how much help you need. Oh, no. I can't even seem to convince my kin right, to give I'll up say the goodbye. illusion. Um, I thought that's all he did, frankly. <laughs> I thought all he did was give you some recipes. Perhaps I have to find them. I mean, it's properly night time now, isn't it? So let's have a look around. Nothing else to do while we while away the hours. Little mushrooms here. Let's pick those up. Can I pick it up, yeah. Oh, another mushroom. You get a lot of mushrooms down by the river. In caves down the south. Can't find so many of them up here. They're quite useful for doing stuff, I think. I think you can make sort of gaseous orbs out of them. Well, I think it's dawn, it's hard to tell, isn't it? I think we ought to get going, whatever, it's light enough to see. Yeah, Braga's quite an interesting character. Um, there are some like journals you can find around the world that are written by his companion, the Shemite who, who released him. I think there's about six journal entries that sort of tell about their journey up here. The poor guy doesn't make it. But we've got to go over here up to the... Oh god, was it Mounds of the Dead? I never bloody remember the name. Mounds of the Dead, yeah. And something else I want to do, because one of my journey steps is to lure an enemy into a trap. And I've made an exploding trap. So we'll try and actually lure some of the guys in there onto it. Because I think we're going to have to just kill everyone in the Mounds of the Dead. Lean should be able to do that quite easily. And then we can search it, get the recipe we want, and then go home. Is that more crimson stuff? Who's that? Oops, stop here. What's that? What's going on here? Is that? Press to interact. I'm interacting with them. Well, look, what's that? Rachni's journal description. Fellow traveller, I am Rachni's, touched by the gods and living and the living embodiment of bravery, king of these lands and all that I behold. These people I do not like, and I will make them bow before me. Tomorrow I will venture into their crumbling mounds, spit on their chieftain, and make myself their leader. Like, I wonder how that worked out for him. Um, have we come across any more journals by that person? I don't recall. More mushrooms. Come on. I'll pick them up. Probably won't use them, but might as well. I'll be back again. No. I'm interacting, but they're not doing anything. I thought that might be the brewing stuff down there. I did not find any brewing information whatsoever. So I don't know if I imagined it, or I just got the wrong end of the stick somehow. We get up here, rather than fighting those people. Uh, come on. Is this the back end of the Mounds of the Dead? Yeah, it is. Right, what I can do, I can go around the front, and then lay a trap, and then lure some of these people down. Can I get up there? No! <laughs> almost, almost. We didn't really want to go up there anyway. 
let's run past. We want to get past the entrance, put down a trap, and then go and get their attention. Bloody hell! A berserker? Jeez! Yeah, they're meant to be really good fighters, they are. Ooh. Right. Let's just see how much damage he's taking. Oh, oh, look, yeah. Damn. Okay. He was taking quite a lot of damage, wasn't he? You got anything we can pinch? No, he's stuck down there. Can I skin him and then sort of loot him? Uh, what's in there? Oh, oh, nothing I want. Oyster flesh, I suppose. Take that. Spectre coating. Coating that harms the undead. Well, that's very handy. Let's get that. Put it on our, on our axe. Right, excellent. Oh, thanks for that. I'm sorry I killed him. I would have taken him a prisoner otherwise. So, let's see what this axe does. Because you're definitely undead, aren't you? Yeah, doesn't seem to be doing too much damage to him. But I'm bleeding and getting corruption, which is not good. Come on, let's try and just hit him. Oh, dear. <laughs> Right, I'm really suffering here. And you! Oh, the poor bloody horse. Right, I really am suffering here. And I'm really going to die, I think, unless I get some bandages down me. Right, run off, run off, run off! Oh, bloody hell. That was unpleasant. That was very unpleasant. Ah, oh, bloody hell. I keep saying bloody hell. I should think of some in more interesting way swearing. Damn! He put seven bleed on me. One thing I can't stand is bleed. Ah, uh, mouths of the dead. Right, we gotta go over here. Right, right, I got stuck for a minute on something. Someone's a map room. The entrance to this place should be around here somewhere. Oh, am I going round it? Go around here. I want to recover a little bit before I go in there. Well, I'm soothing. I can probably do a bit better than soothing, can't I? I've got quite a bit of food here. Better. I thought those whites would just fall over when I tapped them. Obviously not. Oh god, look, they're all agitated now. Right, let's bring them up here. We've got to kill them at some point. Might, might as well be here, eh? Let's leave the horse here. Stop moving! I'll leave the horse alone, go on. Right, Sumerians are my folk. I think. No, I'm a Pict. I keep thinking I'm a Sumerian, but I'm not. What was that? Ale, go on. Uh, there's someone else down here. Where did Liam go? Oh, he's behind me. No, I meant you to come back, actually, Liam. Sorry. Come back. Look at this. Not any of that. Let's try and put this trap down. Yeah, you're going to have to stay here. Let's, let's get you back with the horse for the time being. Um, let's stop following there. Let's get the trap. I can't remember how to lay traps. I think we just positioned them like anything else, but... Oh yeah, come on. Put that put you down there. What's that? I'm trying to I'm trying to lay this down. No. 
No, that wasn't right, was it? Where can I put you? Sure, I can put you there. Is it too close to that to that location? And is already claimed, right? Why won't overlapping with another object? I don't know how to put you down. No, all right. Let's try it again. Oh, this is a pain in the ass. Try putting you over here. No, that's claimed land. I really want to put you there. That's so perfect. How do I do it? <laughs> what a waste of time. Put you there. That worked. Right, excellent. Hold for more options. Right, I don't want to do that. That worked. Brilliant. What? Oh, for God's sake. I didn't know I... Oh, I haven't got another trap. Oh, you bastard. I didn't know I was set it off. Oh, what... What a waste. Okay, well, we'll do that at home. With some more handy enemies nearby. Let's just get in there. Come on, John. Come on. Let's just get in there and slaughter people. And it's going to be unfortunate if one of them is a craftsman I would quite like. But I don't think I can afford to be fussy. We just need to do them all in. Alright, there we are. Come on, Leon. Come on, Leon. Look. Lots of them. Oh, these fellas. Armour. Wow, they're pretty weak. I thought they'd be more, uh, I thought they'd be tougher than this. Uh, I mean, to be honest, if they're that, if they're that pathetic, let's, let's get this guy out. Come on. Come a little archer. An exploding arrow onto him. Yeah, come on, Liam. Right, yeah, good. Last one. Oh, he's back again. Right, that was quick. Let's let's give you a, a bludgeon. Because there might be some people we want to keep in there. Let's just get in there and see what we can do. Since we seem to have taken down most of them, I think. Have we? Is that all of them? Who are you? Wow, who are you? You're a fighter. Um, I'm going to run away. I'm going to run away. Kill yo. What are you? You look tasty. He looks really tough. Oh. Keep him off his balance. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Come on. Oh. Damn. All right, earthenware jug. I can actually, ironically, make that to use um, another exploding trap. Did you knock out anyone interesting? Oh no, they're still alive. If you can take down that Sumerian fighter, we might take him. We might have him, Lean. If you if you want him, go on. Go and get him. Tag. So he seems fairly Oh, he's a level two. He's only level two, but right, let's look around. You get some quite good craftsmen in here apparently. Find these recipes. Jugs. Perhaps this is where the brewing recipes are. Oh, come on, where are ya? Oh, there we go. Look, there's something. Uh, I'll take that. Don't take the other stuff. Nothing here. 
you dead or you're unconscious? Right, you're the guy we wanted, more or less. Is it worth taking him home? I don't know if it is. Where's this damn recipe? Right, what I'm going to do... Where's Leon? Where's Leon? Where, where are you? Ah, oh, quite a tan is unconscious too. Where's Leon gone? Oh, a bit worrying. He's normally alright though, isn't he? Beer. So we're looking for a recipe. Right, I'll cut around this. Well, I've looked and looked and looked and looked. Can't see anything. Can't see anything though. I found another chest. That didn't have anything interesting in it. Ah, perhaps there's more mounds. Are there more mounds to look at? One thing around the outside. Let's have a look around here quickly. Oh, hang on. Here's something. Right, we met another character over there who might attack us. There's this on the, on the outside of the building, just on the left-hand side. So what is that? Uh, confession. In the silence of my soul, I know that all of this is my fault. When my belly began to swell with the Wraith's child, I was happy. He was happy. Even his family, who had always viewed me with suspicion, were happy. <laughs> when the menfolk left on a week-long hunt... The woman bathed me in lavender and rubbed scented oils onto my belly. They burned, wheeze, burned beeswax candles and we talked into the night. When I lay down to sleep, I was full and happy as I had never been before. I said a prayer to Crom to give my child strength. I said a prayer to Crom. Everything that followed, the raiders who came and took us from our homes, the sorcery that prevents us from leaving, even the loss of my child, I brought this doom upon all of us. Right, so she prayed to Crom, who's not very fond of prayers, and she's blaming herself for them landing up here. Which uh, is, is, you know, sad and all, but it's not a bloody recipe. Uh, is this... Is this night time again, or is this just another bloody storm? Ugh. Let's have another look around. No, I've looked and looked, can't see anything. I might have to consult some sources. Just wondering whether we're in the wrong place. We've been there, that's the Ravaged Barrows. We don't want to go there again. We're here, this particular barrow. There's another barrow over there, to my right. Should be over there. And let's go and have a look at that one. Oh look, there it is. Never really noticed that one. Well perhaps I've seen it and just not realised there was two barrows. Let's have a look. Seem to be quite a lot of these places, don't they? Very dark. Get some water down us. So that's one barrow. Here's another barrow. Yeah, I hadn't appreciated the fact that there were three of them. <laughs> my stuff up. Come Leon. Come Leon. Come on! Jesus Christ. I'm just going to stand there. Damn, look at the damage I took. Even through my shield, that's mental. I don't believe that. I took about, lost half my health then. Oh, uh, don't want any of that. Ugh. Horrible weather. We could wait, actually, so it gets lighter again. Oh, what's the point, though? What's the point? Let's get up here. Take this guy now. You're gonna cause many problems, chum. Another one. Ooh. Damn! These guys are tough. Right, I got a carpenter on me as well. Right, I'm not doing very well here. We'll fall down there, do we? Jump up here. Right, jump up there. Okay, Liam's behind me. Running defence. Normal. 
Nice. We get the other one. I think it's got Forge Light, which um, is a big club. Actually, lets off some light, which is very useful. Something moving out there. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Here we go. It's more people. Bloody hell. I'm just slashing around randomly now. Ooh, stomach hurts. Let's take his loot. Um, trying to get to this guy. On his box. Yo. Take a bit of food. Yeah, I, I thought there was only one, only one mound. I'm not sure what gave me that idea, but that's what I thought. We could probably search in there now, couldn't we? Let's jump down. Uh, shield up. Help is more or less back. Oh, I, ow, I thought there was. I thought there was a fire down there. There's not. It's completely dark, isn't it? Well, let's go. Oh. <coughs> Hopefully, Lean will follow me down soon. Look for some recipes in here. Right, there's nothing in here. Nothing at all. There's not even a chest. I'll have one more look. One more look. But this is getting quite discouraging, really. Right, well, I'm outside again. I've been losing some of these corpses. I found some more of that spectre coating. Something called an elixir of might. Nothing I want. Jump. So, we've exhausted this place, I think. What's in here? Have we exhausted that place? I don't think so. Up. Are there people in here? Is there people working down there? Yeah, there are. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we can have to. Is there someone over there on guard outside? Yeah. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> I thought we might get away with that. Jump up here. Let's get Liam. Saw in the mouth. All right. Okay. I think. No, he, he's trying to get up. He's, he's confused though. This guy. I think. Well, there's a few of them. He's laying down there now. Are they coming up? Can't tell what's going on. Oh, Lean's having a fight over here, is he? Yeah, looks like it. Jeez. Um, I ought to help. Oh, there he is. He might go on the left. On the right, rather. Get confused. Why are they glowy weapons? Sort them out. longer. Um, right, nothing I want. Let's go around the front. Come on then. Better be bloody recipes in here. Oh, hello. Archer. Right, got the others following in now. The others joining in now. Here we go. Armourer. Oh, anything on you? No. And there was a, a workman in here, I think. Unless he came out. He probably came out, didn't he? Let's have a look. Another search. Oh, something here. Something here. What's that? Ah, a new feet specialist cooking four. Which I wanted three. <laughs> I wanted specialist cooking three, I think. Anyway, we got one. Yeah, so... Right, yeah, we've learned that, haven't we? Let's see if there's any more around here. Yeah, I thought we wanted three. Perhaps it was four we wanted. Right, I'll have another quick look around. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we've now searched properly. 
all of these buildings. Can I jump down? We've been in this one, haven't we? They all look the same. <laughs> There's Leon. Is that a loot bag? Yeah. Right, let's go away. Is there somewhere else to look? Just Stargazer Ridge, which I discovered when I was um, playing earlier, without recording. Let's just run off. Don't be done enough, really. Thank you, thank you for that. This weather is foul. On Liam, ignore them. Turn, please. So where we want to go to, put this torch down, is it's a little way away. We want to go over here to Skyfall Ridge, or is it? Skyfall Ridge. I thought it was something else. Stargrazer Crest. That's where we want to go. Why wow, they're falling, aren't they? Good for you. You're only a level one. Right. Um. Where's that place gone? We want to head over there. Let's get going. That shield up. So this is the last location we'll look at. I'm a little bit tired now. What are all these people? Is this is this the ridge? Or is that just... I think they've just respawned, haven't they? We've been there already. We've looked at all that. We've looked at all that. Oh, jeez. Um, can we get through there? I don't think we can. Oh, Lord. Get around here. I'm going to start running into big cat soon. This is where we left the horse, isn't it? It was now run off, typically. They're still coming. Oh, come on, Leon. I don't want to... Don't... Right, yeah. See, I can hear saber-tooths up there. Right, there's, there's a bear, not a saber tooth. <laughs> Star Grazer Crest. Ah! Oh, all right, I believe it. Right, they're both down, are I. Is there a crest up here? Not, not here. The advantage of being here with a horse is that you can usually run past the animals quite handily. Where's this crest? Should be on it more or less. The map again. So it's just down there, to our right. I think I see it. I think I see it. I'll try getting up here. Run, run. Yeah, I think it's past that ridiculous statue. Slide down here. Oh, hey. crap. Okay, this is bad. Keep away from those spikes. Keep away. Are we away from the spikes? That's all I care about. Just not dropping on them. Phew. Get some more water. Take a sausage. Gosh, she's turning it into quite a long episode. Where's Leon? He's leaning behind me. There he is. Yeah, this is the crest. I found this earlier when I was trying to do something else. <laughs> Good. Good, come on. There you go. There you go. And there should be another recipe here. Get there. Take that. Always use bark. Is there going to be a recipe here? Hmm, nothing here. I'm wondering if the guide I'm looking at is telling me where these recipes is. It's quite old. Because it says in this guide, which I found on the internet, that the recipe is inside the building at Stargazer Crest, and this is obviously not a building. So that's very odd, isn't it? There's nothing nearby, surely. 
No. I don't see anything. Well, it may be that the recipe I want was in that document number four. That recipe document number four. So what I'll do, I'll go back home and check it out. Evil will have your heart out under. Right, well, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, I went to check out that recipe, went all the way home, looked in my stove. And uh, no, I'd only got, um, well, I got specialist cooking four, but that's not the one I wanted, unfortunately. It wasn't the one I wanted. So I'll show you on the map. I've come all the way back again. On a much nicer day, you'll admit. And let's zoom right in. Let's zoom right in. Come on. So I hadn't realised how many huts there were. And if I'd looked, you know, more closely, I would have realised, obviously. But you get specialist cooking four in this hut here, the big one. And you get specialist cooking three in this little hut here. So we've just got to go down here, go past that first but ravaged burrows thing. And I think get onto that main hut and then cross a bridge to that little hut. Let's try doing that. Ah! Oh, right, yeah, the usual miscreant changes. So I think we've got to get... Where have we got to get to? I think we've got to get across that little bridge. From that hut there. Oh, get out of the way. Right. Is that going to work? Why are you shouting at us? There's so many bridges though. I thought we could get... St oh, okay, that's probably the reason why. We can't actually get straight to that. Unless we climb up. Can we climb up there? That might be a way around. <laughs> we just climb to the other one. Because otherwise we've got to get to that barrow over there. And cross a bridge to that one. And then get a bridge to the other one. And it seems all a little bit uncalled for. Can we climb up there? Oh, damn. Jump down. I think this is it. Let's have a quick look. In zoom in. I wish this was a bit faster. Oh, we've got to get to that, that, that one there. We've got to get to this one. Can we climb up there? Can but try. Save us fighting through everyone. Yep. Whoops. Right, that didn't work too well, did it? Let's get it and recover our stamina. <laughs> Try it again. Hopefully the weather's not... Oh, the weather is closing in again, isn't it? Miserable, miserable weather. So we should be able to get around there. Let's get Liam up. Here. There should be something just outside. Right, is this the wrong place? Is that it? Interact. Special cooking three! Right, excellent! <laughs> For some reason, I got into my head. That it was outside. It was actually inside. So there we are. Let's take another look on the map. Just so we can show you absolutely where it is. And it's quite easy to get to as well. No fighting involved it seems. So there we go. We're just there. Right. Oh bloody hell. The weather's coming down again. Oh I've had enough for one day. I hope you enjoyed it all. I hope you'll come back again soon for some more, and until I see you again, I shall say goodbye. Okay, cheerio.